a quick update on Project Nano. I haven't filmed the video on this aquarium in a little while. So, um, Project Nano is also suffering from algae problems like Project Pico is. It was a lot worse than this, but I still have a lot of hair algae. I've got some cyano algae coming in. I've also got some coralline algae coming in. Let me go ahead and zoom in. See if we can get that. So you can see in the pink areas there. Right over there, you can see some cyano algae coming in on the rocks. I'm sorry, you, this is coralline, cyano, and then you, you can see hair algae there. So the coralline, obviously I don't mind, but the cyano and the hair algae has to go. So, gonna work on that. I'm also down to one firefish because the other one jumped out. I found it on the side of the aquarium, dried up. So, just down to one firefish. And I do have a, um, I think a purple firefish coming shortly for uh, the Petco sale, the 30% off sale that uh, the fish didn't come in, but uh, my friend John uh, is gonna hook me up with uh, the discount. So got a another purple firefish coming in so um, we'll have two in here again so other than that um, you'll notice that the sexy shrimp from Project Pico is in here I've got a pair in here actually the other ones in here somewhere So I've got some zinnias, some star polyps, some zoas, some duncans, some more GSP, and uh, hopefully this thing will be flushed out with coral uh, in the next few months. I'm going to bring the camera around so you can see the... Uh, there's a red crab here. Get some focus. He doesn't come out very often, he's pretty shy. So you can see him right there to the right. Banded coral shrimp obviously is out all the time. He's very present. And I've also got a Sally Lightfoot crab present. So pretty much invertebrates and a firefish or two is gonna be what's living in here. I also have some hermit crabs, some astrea snails, and one turbo uh, Mexican, uh, Mexican turbo snail in here. So the skimmer has been acting up on me. It's filling up real fast, so I got to take a look at that. And uh, since I got the camera real close, we can take a close up of some of the coral that's forming, the zoas. You can see some nice zoas here. Some coralline algae coming in here. Some nice zoas are open here. And then of course the sienna algae. So I'm going to um, run some more ChemiClean through this aquarium. I did dose it a little bit with one scoop. And I just wanted to see uh, where that would uh, take it before I um, put more in. So that's it for this update on Project Nano. Please subscribe and uh, watch for more updates. Thank you for watching my video.